What's up guys, Hello Shiro Animations, back at it again doing not one more, but my last uh, toy review for a while. Um, if you watch, which if you guys haven't seen, go see my part two of my Herculoid review where I got the entire set complete. I give my final uh, words about the figures as a whole. Um, yeah, check that out, check it, check it out if you haven't, but... Today, I am doing an unboxing. Um, this is, the unboxing will be its own separate video. And then I'll do a review on the figures. Um, so this is a set that I've been kind of wanting for a while. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan, more of a casual fan of these characters. They are Marvel characters, so... Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll go over that in the review. So, for now, let's just, uh, see what I got. Um, I already opened the box, so, yeah. But there's some stuff in here to protect the figures. And, uh, let's see. The box is beat up. But then again, so is the box that they're in. Um, yeah, I got the Fantastic Four. So that's pretty cool. Um, oh my, it's a big box. It's the inside. Uh, let me put that away. Oh, let me fix my set. Um, okay, sorry about that. Yeah. Um, I got the Fantastic Four. This is a variant set. Yeah, this set this set is a variant set. Um, you get the Human Torch with 34 points of articulation. The Thing with 29 points of articulation. Um, Invisible Woman with 40 points of articulation. And Mr. Fantastic with 38 points of articulation. So, Sue, Susan has the most articulation um these are toy biz figures these are the, the this is made from the company that originally did the marvel legend line um yeah so they were made in 2005 i believe this is actually a variant the original set came with the four of them but the thing he had a grinning like like he was showing his teeth and he didn't come with his trench coat or hat or sunglasses. Um, Johnny wasn't the Human Torch wasn't translucent. He was just regular, like red. Um, and Sue and Mister Fantastic came in their normal, their classic team uh, costumes, and they came with Doctor Doom and their son, Mister Fantastic and Invisible Woman's son, Franklin, and a robot named Herbie. Um, that's the set that people usually try to go for, which it's a nice set. Um, my only con is with that set is that there was a well, me personally, I just want the four. I just want the four key members of the team. I just want the Fantastic Four, you know, and that's one of my reasons for why I just got this set. Um, and the fact that the the original set didn't come with Mr. Fantastic's uh, stretchy limbs. And, yeah, that's about it. My only con is that the original set had a lab coat for Mr. Fantastic, and this one doesn't. So I'll probably have to get it separately. Uh, but, yeah. As you can see, it's a special poster book and collector display stands included and this box is old Marvel Legends Fantastic Four and on the back it has uh, see that's the poster book inside which is pretty cool um, it has their stats which I'm not going to go over their stats this time. Um, 
But it's still pretty cool that they put that, they added that, you know, to the characters. Um, I guess I'll read the bio. It's a long bio. Uh, Reed Richards, Sue Richards, Benjamin Grimm, Johnny Storm, all adventurers at heart. They rocketed into space in, in an experimental starship, the first humans to attempt interstellar travel. But a freak encounter with cosmic rays changed back forever, grain, granting each unique powers. Financed by the profits from Reed's inventions, Mr. Fantastic, the Invisible Woman, the Thing, and the Human Torch turned tragedy into triumph. From from that day forward, they, be, they began new lives as a family and a team, the Fantastic Four. Um, I'm not sure what that word is. Unushered, ushered in the, the age of marvels. Pioneers of science. They are the world's first. Uh, Imaginats, Imaginats, uh, the Fantastic Four are not superheroes in the traditional sense. They don't fight crime or patrol the seats of the, or patrol the streets of the city. They are astronauts, explorers, trailblazers, challenging the unknown. The Fantastic Four have discovered hidden civilizations, the secret nations, initiated human contact with alien races, breached parallel dimensions. The greatest squad of superhuman, superhuman adventurers ever assembled. They continue to push the bounds of human exploration. Whatever dangers they face, they face as a family. Um, yeah, that was a mouthful. So pretty cool. Um, ironically, this set is based off, I believe, a comic that was, ended up being a flop, ironically. But it's cool that they bothered to make, I guess, figures of that story. Um, I'll briefly go over the stats. Uh, Reed is the smartest in intelligence. He has low strength. He has low speed. He has strong durability. He has low energy projection. And he has decent fighting skills. Um, Sue, uh, wow. She's a three in intelligence. Um, her strength is a two, her speed is a three, her durability is a five, her energy projection is a five, and her fighting skill is about a three. Um, Johnny, Johnny's intelligence is a two, strength a two, speed a five, durability a two, energy projection a five, fighting skills a three, Ben, Ben's intelligence is a two. Strength is, well, of course, he's the strongest. A six. Speed, a two. Durability, a six. Energy projection, a zero. And fighting skills, four. Uh, it even gives their weight and height and their eye color and hair color. Wow. Toy Biz Worldwide. Another thing I loved about this company, um, they they put a lot of effort and a lot of articulation in their figures. Not all their figures were the best, but for the most part, majority of what they made was really well put together. Um, I do plan on getting more box sets, but they are pretty expensive. This was originally sixty nine bucks, and I got it for fifty five, which was a steal in my opinion. Well worth it. Uh, so, yeah, um, and sorry if there was any noise in the background. That was my family doing whatever. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for the review. Peace.